Welcome to Guns, Guns, Gear, and Guns with Gary Gunderson. I am Gary Gunderson. Gather around, boys and girls. We've got a special episode today where we are going to read a story. Oh, vote no on Chipman. President Biden put forth an ATF director nomination for a caricature of a candidate called David Chipman. Recently working as a gun control lobbyist, as you'd suspect, the gun-grabbing Giffords group called his selection perfect. Like appointing a starving wolf to guard your precious hens, he wants nothing more than to see your gun rights end. At the ATF, he had such an illustrious career. Let's look at some highlights over the years. Despite internet rumors and whispers abound, and a mislabeled picture making the rounds, he was not at the siege of the Branch Davidians, where the ATF had a bit of a controversial situation. That was resolved with an undue over-application of force, which led to immolation. Oh, that's a big word. Do you know what immolation means, boys and girls? It means to kill with fire. Though he was brought in to investigate what happened after the fact, this should-be expert claimed the Davidians used 50 cal rifles to attack, supposedly shooting down two helicopters like an action movie, an easily verifiable lie that just goes to highlight his buffoonery. But don't let the facts of what did or did not happen interfere with ATF director nominee David Chipman. And it's understandable he wants an assault weapons ban, which will lead to eventual government confiscation. He knows how hard it is to keep track of a gun. After all, he reportedly lost his own service sidearm. While in a major management position before he retired, there was another scandal in which the agency was mired. Funneling illegal firearms across the Mexican border, which the drug cartels predictably use for murder. Though trafficking the arms was dubbed fast and furious, it was not as delightful as the franchise name suggests. When the levels of new gun owners skyrocketed last year, as the nation was gripped by uncertainty, violence, and fear, David Chipman thought exercising rights lawfully was not a good thing, mockingly equating those wanting to protect themselves to the Tiger King. Being recently questioned by judiciary committees, he seemed unable to define his subject of expertise. Refusing to provide a personal classification with any detail, on assault weapons whose ownership he wants to curtail. Rest assured that when pressed, it is as bad as it seems, including any semi-auto with a detachable box magazine. Unless, of course, it is a 22 caliber rifle, whose wounds we all know are but a trifle. So pick up your phones and type out an email, for time runs short and we must not fail. Let your representative know where you stand on the confirmation of this one, David Chipman. For your rights are something you must always defend, especially from this one, David Chipman. The end. Wow, what a story. You know, all the good boys and girls should contact their local representative and tell them to vote no on David Chipman for director of the ATF. The hearing is scheduled for Thursday, June 24th, so there's no time to waste. Unless you want another section to add to this book, please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel for more content. Thanks for watching.